This is the future. This is the future. Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Crip Zone. And today we're going to repair a problem on the BM. As you can see, there is a melted water pipe, and there is a broken steel pipe. So, I was driving from work the other day, and I suddenly realized there was a massive power loss. Just in the last few kilometers before I reached the house. I had a power loss and this very weird sound like it was like the car was smothering like the car had no more power and uh, it was just terrible so uh, the next morning I started the car and this is what I found the pipe broke there on the link it was like spot welded it broke there all the exhaust fumes and carbon went everywhere that's why everything is so black and dirty the heat from the exhaust actually melted the water pipe where it connects to the thermostat now as you can see here unfortunately to get to that clamp I have to remove the entire scoop and fan again just to get the clamp loose at this point I actually thought that I would have to remove the thermostat but luckily I didn't need to because the melting only happened on the hose pipe side and not so much on the thermostat side and when I was trying to take it off, I realized that the bolt on the inside, there's no way I can get that bolt out. I tried my best. I took the first one out and I couldn't get in there. I had to remove this other pipe. Unfortunately, that pipe, you can't get it out. So luckily, I didn't need to remove it. So as you guys can see, the surface where the water pipe connects to is actually still in a very good condition. All I did now is just to spray clean green to make sure I can get all this old carbon and dirt off the engine. So let's go buy spares. Hi guys, welcome back and this is the next morning or the day after the stripping of the car. And here we have the spares finally from BMW themselves because they were the only ones who got that pipe because it's custom made. And all of these little few thingies, 1,600 Rand just here. So let's go clean the engine and put the shit back and see if it works. It's so much better for me to do a recording like this because on the live recording of the video I just realized the wind was blowing terribly. We had uh, rain for the whole day, miserable weather conditions, so it's better for me to do the recording like this. So as you guys can see the unit is still fine. I actually tested it, it's not leaking water. So now we're just going to take some water and wipe down the entire engine where we sprayed that uh, clean green yesterday. Just look at this guys. While I was busy cleaning, I realized that this electrical cable that goes to the sensor was melted. Well, the cable itself is fine. The wire is 100%. But the sleeving itself was melted away and melted into the electrical cable. So luckily, um, the sensor is still working so the cables didn't get damaged inside. But I think if I left it for a bit longer, I would have had a worse problem. All I did now was to take some insulation tape and I taped it up and all the other wires look fine. Through some full magic, we're going to do this job one, two, three, four. There you see the components. And now, check this out. One. Two. Three, four, circuit complete. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the fan back so that I can have some airflow on the engine. And then I'm going to start the engine for about two minutes to see if there's any water leaks and any gas leaks. And then we'll put the rest of the covers back on. Engine is running fine. There's no water leaks, no gas leaks. Everything looks A-OK. -okay. Okay, I've placed this uh, unit back on the cover and I placed that unit back in its place. The scoop is on, the fan is on, it's free turning, not touching anything. So all I'm going to do now is put the rest of the covers on and then we'll test drive. Okay guys, so I took the car for a test drive now, uh, quite a proper test drive and I must say the performance is much better. 
I think it's um, better than what the performance was before I actually realized there was a mistake, which tells me that that pipe, I think, was leaking now for a little while. Um, but the performance is much better, there's much more power, so the car's definitely um, fixed now. So that's the end of this video. So uh, thanks for watching, and remember, as always, if you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast. On the Cripsonian live page, you should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cribzone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted, and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact, and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.